Morning traders, and this is your DAX day trade setup for today. So as I said yesterday, we we're looking for that second move, and that's exactly what we got. And if I'm not mistaken, the move was pretty spot on. Not quite yet. So we still have some downside to go. But you can see why price stopped. We do have an inside tail here. And that's where the buyer stepped in. Okay. So what this has done is to verify our double top. Okay. So the second move here is coming in. Uh, what I want to do is just tidy some of this up so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay. We'll leave those in. But there is a double top here. There it is there. Okay. Up, down, up. That's the neckline. So basically what this means is we have potential now. Because we broke through, came back, we've broken through a second time. So we do have potential for this thing to continue falling. All the way down here. And then we've got a massive gap here. So I'd almost pretty much... Um, look at that as a as an option okay uh, i just want to move across just to see on the daily to see whether we have anything on these two levels nothing really we definitely do have something here okay so 12194 you can see the previous swing low of this daily double top okay so that is still a, an area which i would be interested in uh, both of these levels here, and I'll run through those scenarios now. Okay, so we have remove that. So we've hit a first target. There is a second target right over here. Okay, that is our measured move, which is uh, twelve one nine four. Am I right? Twelve one nine four. Yes. So twelve one nine four is. An area we need to pay attention for and the next one is 12108 uh, possibly even 12100 and there is a little brooks gap here so and there's another daily gap below that as well so i think first things first definitely looking for a long of 12194 um, i took this trade yesterday but uh, i'm not a fan of leaving things in overnight so I pretty much got out when we hit the first level here. Uh, this next level of 12194 is definitely something which um, I think we need to pay attention to. So how we're going to do that is by focusing on the 12 minute candle. Okay, so you can see down, up, down again. We do have a potential double bottom here. Have a look at what the awesome oscillator is doing. It is starting to trend up while price is trending down. So we have diversions there. So this, at this stage, we're looking for a break above uh, 12,284. And I think that's probably, that's not too bad. It's 54 points. Okay. So that's kind of what we're looking for. And you can see even though we were sort of going nowhere most of the day, we broke out of this channel, came back and tested. There was your entry, as I said yesterday. And then we meandered until eventually it got going. Okay, so today, I think exactly the same thing. You've got a potential double top here. And then the next thing that you do have at the moment is a bit of a flag here. Okay, so you're looking for a break. A pullback, long, stop below the low of yesterday. Okay, so that's kind of the, the view that I've got at the moment is looking for some kind of a, a pullback. I don't know whether we're going to get... I just want to adjust our breakout retest quickly. And we can use that one as well. Okay, so here's the thing. So we could get a move up here 
which pretty much would give us a target around uh, 12274. Okay, so break of this wedge to the upside, 12274. I would then still be looking for, for shorts. Only once we break above this fractal here of 12282 will I start looking for longs. Okay, so move any move to the back of the upside, I'm going to see this as consolidation. So this wedge is very possible to break, but in a measured move component of the wedge is pretty much going to take us flat bang into the east between these two areas here. So it's going to be between 12.274 and 12.283. So any um, bearish price action in this zone is going to bring back a short for me. Okay, so in other words, what I'm anticipating here is a consolidation range, which is going to give me a second move. That second move is pretty much this leg here. Okay, which takes me down to there. And if we go to a bigger time frame, you'll see there is a swing high right there. And I think even if we go to the daily, um, nothing much in that area. Okay, so that's kind of my play for today. Yeah, I think first a bit of a long, probably up into this area here. Uh, that is still going to be below the alligator. And then looking for any bearish price action there on a lower time frame. And then looking for that second move to the downside. And just pay very close attention because it's 12194 and 12160 that are the areas to downside that I suspect are going to hold up price. And then last one would be 12108 or 12100. Okay, so somewhere in this area I suspect we're going to get some, some decent uh, support. If we just cut across to the weekly, so this weekly bar is not looking very promising, but remember we had a pretty good run. So it is possible that we are going to pull back, but it is also possible that we just range. Okay, so we've got to get through this area here to start extending prices to the upside, but I think at the moment, a very good chance of coming back and testing the alligator. And if I just put a level on something that makes sense, there's two weekly fractals. So... That's 12091. So 12100, between 12100 and oh, 12091, so it's only 10 points. So that 1200, um, so it's 12,000 to 12100 area. That's the area that we need to pay attention to for a pullback because I think you're going to find some support there and then hopefully accelerate up for a decent second move. It's going to break out of this uh, channel, uh, this range. Okay. Anyway guys, that's my view at the moment, a uh, bit of a long and then another move down to come and pick up these measured moves with the ultimate target being looking for a long on the 12,100, between 12,000 and 12,100 area. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, anyway guys, that's it for me today. Hope it helps and I will catch you later. Cheers for now.